Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Michael Coates here in the First Alert Weather Center. We're getting ready for the 5 o'clock news here, and I'm uh, looking at a cold front getting into the Snake River Plain right now, and that cold front currently is making its way into areas just around Pocatello and coming out of Power County. You can see the dropping temperatures right now. Let's go a little bit closer in. And uh, just after 4 o'clock when I'm recording this weather, and we're getting some lightning strikes, especially out towards areas south of American Falls along I-86, and thunderstorms right now with some snow getting into areas of Bannock County through Chubbuck and Pocatello, and just starting to see this cold front getting into Fort Hall and Blackfoot. And here it goes into Idaho Falls, a little bit of rain and some snow weather, uh, rain snow mix, I should say, uh, coming into areas of western Bonneville County and Bingham County. So over the next hour or so, this storm, uh, this front is going to envelop the region, and we're going to be stuck with more wind and more scattered snow showers with a little bit of rain. Those uh, winds are definitely with us here for tonight through tomorrow. We have a winter weather advisory for the areas just a little bit higher up than Idaho Falls, but this also includes areas around Pocatello, especially around the bench areas. Winter weather advisory with the scattered snow, the gusty winds continuing through tonight into tomorrow morning, and winter storm warnings for Lemhi County as you're getting along Highway 28 and 93. Here's the setup. We've got the cold front that's currently coming in right now as we speak. Behind it, dropping temperatures as you guessed. The jet stream falling all the way close to Vegas and heading into Arizona over to the uh, Tuesday and Wednesday period. We're going to have scattered snow off of this low and gusty winds continuing and that trough of low pressure keeping things pretty chilly over the next couple of days. Here's a look at Vipercast. Later on tonight around 11 o'clock, we'll have some spotty snow ringing around the Snake River Plain, mostly into the foothills and mountains. We'll get another push of snow early tomorrow morning with scattered snow for tomorrow morning's drive to work and school. And we'll have off and on snow showers throughout the day tomorrow. At times, it could get a little heavy with the snow, especially by the afternoon and evening hours. You can see some dark blue banding there and the uh, storm kind of stalls out a little bit and we might actually see a little convergence zone here with some heavier snow bands uh, working into the region. Then we'll have some scattered snow for Tuesday night. We'll see less snow in the forecast for Wednesday, but there's still going to be a few pockets of wet weather in here, especially for the high country. Snowfall amounts right now looking on average maybe about one to two inches new, new accumulation around Idaho Falls for tomorrow afternoon. We might have to up that depending on if this system really stalls out overhead. So just a fair warning on that front. Here's a look at the Viper cast as we go into Wednesday and Thursday. We're going to get another round of wet weather rolling in here from the West Coast on Thursday with the, most of the wet weather here for Thursday focused towards Nevada, Utah, and towards Wyoming with just a few passing snow showers in the Snake River Plain. Highs for the region tomorrow will be hanging out into the 30s and many spots below freezing for that afternoon high like Soda Springs with a high of 30. 31 in Jackson, just barely getting above freezing for the upper valley with numbers here in the mid to lower 30s for numbers tomorrow afternoon. Lows tonight getting below freezing into the teens and 20s. Low 30s for Stanley will be into the mid 30s up towards Chalice, lower 30s in Mackey and Arco with highs in the valley at 36 for Idaho Falls, 37 for Blackfoot and Pocatello, 38 in American Falls. Watch out for more wind and scattered snow in Jackson as we make our way through the rest of this work week. It looks like it's going to be unsettled every day this week. And even this weekend, we have a chance for more snow coming in by Saturday. Blackfoot, a high of 37 for tomorrow and Wednesday. Temperatures stuck below 40 degrees for that high with scattered hits of rain and snow. And again, those winds staying up there. Those winds are going to be with us all the way through the rest of this week. Go to Salmon with a high of 33 for Tuesday, 35 for Wednesday, 43 for Thursday. mid to 40s for Friday and Saturday with more hits of scattered snow and rain by this weekend. We go to Pocatello. We've got temperatures here in the upper 30s for tomorrow and Wednesday, mid 40s for Thursday, the upper 40s for Friday and Saturday. Idaho Falls, your eight day. 36, the expected high for tomorrow. 35 for Wednesday. Yeah, it's going to be pretty cold and windy here for the next couple of days. Uh, we do have a good chance of seeing some snow again here for tomorrow and then more snow for Thursday. And there's going to be a chance for some snowy weather this weekend. We'll have more for you later tonight on the news at 5, 5.30 and 6. I'm Michael Coates. Bye for now.